focus. Thanks for your question about graphing a uh, uh, piecewise defined function. It was a little tricky to tell, um, but I think that I've set up the question the way that you um, are trying to ask it, but the typesetting was a little tricky in your answer. So um, please feel free to reply if this isn't what you're asking for. But it looks like you're trying to plot a function which is equal to one, as long as x is less than or equal to negative two. On the interval between negative two, non-inclusive, and two inclusive, you want the function to be equal to um, the expression negative x minus one. And for x values greater than two, you just want it to be equal to negative two. Cool. So I'm going to get some graph paper on here. And we can draw an axis and start plotting. All right. So let's maybe um, put every two or so, just so we can see a little more what we're doing. Bear with me as I add some reference lines to our plot. Sorry, it's always a little tedious to draw, but it'll be worth it in the end. All right, here, we got some axes. Maybe we should put some arrows on there. All right, so we know for x values less than or equal to negative 2, we want our y value to always be 1. So we can go over here to negative 2, comma 1, and put... Yeah. Pen is not super behaving. Let me make it bigger so I can draw a big point there. All right, so we know that that point's going to be there. And we know further that actually for every value less than negative two, we're just going to keep going along at a height of one. Cool. Uh, we can draw a similar straight line coming out from um, this last info here. For every x value greater than two, we're going to have a value of negative two. We don't want to put a big point at that um, value of two comma negative two though, because we're saying that it is non-inclusive. So at two comma negative two, we can put a little circle to indicate that there's a hole there, although we'll see what happens at two exactly in a sec, but I always like to throw in some straight lines to start. So we can just continue on from there negative two. Now we just need to figure out what's happening between these values. Between these values we've got a downward sloped straight line and we can plot a few points on that line to get a sense of what's happening. Um, so we know that we're at negative x minus one. So for example at negative two we could actually just plug in negative x minus one. So negative negative two is positive two minus one actually does stick us right at that same point we had before. Cool. All right. Well, now we know we've got a slope of negative one, so we can actually just from here go one over and one down and plot a point, one over and one down, plot a point, one over and one down, plot a point, one over and one down. We're going to end up with those as our points which we can connect. See how that gives us all right, let's fill it a little more than I meant for it to be. Can you line me? So there's our full graph. Um, this one actually definitely looks like a piecewise defined function, right? We've got three distinct chunks. In order to have a piecewise defined function, you don't need to have those chunks. All you need is to have this sort of pieces defining your function. It could end up being something that looks like a nice, smooth, connected thing. Um, I hope that helped you understand what's going on with here. Um, please feel free to comment if you've got further questions. Have a great day.